Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio and this will be for the 19th to the 25th of April 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget that it's a general reading, so it's not going to suit every single person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa. We talk about you. It could be your person and vice versa. So for this reading, I'm using this deck, which is the, uh, what's this one called? The Angel... Angel Wisdom Tarot, I've got the Everyday Witch Oracle, um, the Romance Angels, and I will finish with some Tarot. Okay, so for Scorpio, let's see what Scorpio has. Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. Okay, you've had way too many fall out. We'll try again. Okay, Scorpio. Um, type of Scorpio. Type of Scorpio. Type of Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio it really doesn't want to come out. Scorpio. Okay, so there was a situation that wasn't successful um, with the six of wands in reverse. This situation, you probably had a lack of confidence. It can be, as I said, a lack of success. You've also got the five of pentacles this is you feeling like you've been left out in the cold in a situation um it can be you recovering from some sort of loss as well um maybe you focus more on your employment and the one on the bottom you've got the empress and you've also got the page of wands in reverse the empress this is all about you being attractive people find you very attractive it can also be about you nurturing yourself. You might be a parent, you might be pregnant. So for some of you, if you're not wanting to have kids, be very careful. The other one is the page of wands in reverse. So this is about you maybe having some self-limiting beliefs and you are on a, some sort of spiritual path. Um, there's something you need to, to learn from a situation that you've been through. So just for the moment, care for yourself. So obviously the situation that left you out in the cold, make sure you learn from that situation so you don't repeat the cycle. But there's something you needed to learn. Okay. Okay. There's somebody that you are... Uh, you have some sort of chemistry with, um, but you're not, or maybe you are, but you need to be seeing the red flags. There are red flags that um, I feel like you maybe are ignoring. If you are seeing, it's like take your rose-colored glasses off. There's definitely some sort of red flags. Um, they were on the bottom. The other two, you need to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And you got the soulmate card. So whether this person that has got the red flags is your person or whether, I mean, soulmates are all people you learn from. So we generally meet people so we can learn from them and we have these lessons and then we progress and we don't, you know, we break the cycles and we move on. So pay attention to the red flags. This person could be your soulmate. But keep an open mind. They're probably not your usual type either. Okay, you've got meditation for clarity so maybe you need you're not really having much clarity in this situation I feel like you um, maybe you've got some clouded judgment but also I feel like you yeah you probably need to 
see the red flags. You need to have the mental clarity. Also, on the bottom, you've got plant the seeds. I mean, whatever you plant now is going to grow. It's going to take patience. It's it's this for this this card to me is like the seven of pentacles. You plant the seeds, you wait for them to grow. You're waiting for your plants to bear fruit. You're ready for the next move. You're looking at a long term view for your life. You know, you don't go into something thinking it's going to last five minutes, but there's definitely some red flags. There's something you needed to learn from this situation. It obviously wasn't successful and they left you out in the cold. Scorpio. Scorpio. You're in some sort of mental conflict. Um, you're feeling like you're in a stalemate, you're possibly um, knowing you need to make a decision, you're weighing up your options, you're going through this mental conflict, you're feeling like you're avoiding making a decision but you do need to make some sort of decision, you've got a lot of mental conflict going on about this person, um, you need to detach from this person that is probably like the devil, so um, release any limiting beliefs you have about yourself but also detach from this person who probably has addictions, Drugs, sex, money, alcohol, gambling, obsessions, that kind of thing. Um, I feel like at the moment it's possibly you're not living with this person because it doesn't affect your everyday things, everyday, like your money, your safety, your shelter, your food. You'll have that regardless of whether you're with this person or not. But you're definitely going through this mental conflict. Maybe you're just unsure about situations maybe you because of that you're not you know you're seeing the red flags right but are you seeing them well you're seeing them and you're still hang on hanging on in you feel like you need some sort of closure you feel like you haven't you can't end the situation because you think that there could be victory and success whereas a card over here is saying there won't be um I feel like you've got inner conflict going on and also feel like sometimes the obstacles and challenges possibly are now going to be over. But it can also be about you needing to release any kind of tension you have. If you need to have a cry, do that. If you need to go and stand on the edge of a cliff and you scream at the top of your lungs, feel free to do that. Um, you are going to have some new beginnings. You've got to be like the, the fool, have some new beginnings. Um, get out of your head. You feel like stuck, but they're self-imposed. You're keeping yourself stuck there. You're keeping yourself in a situation where you feel like you can't move on from. Scorpio. You've got patience and planning, seven of um, pentacles in reverse. You've got the balance, which is the same as the justice card in reverse and firm foundation. So somebody probably was dishonest they didn't take accountability for their actions um that's all about karma they'll get theirs um there's definitely progress being made but i feel like it's very slow progress um what you want is your firm foundation so i feel like you're making slow progress towards this firm foundation but the dishonesty is in the middle You need to break cycles. You have lack of hope. You need to break a cycle and you keep attracting these people. Somebody's being deceptive, dishonest. They're acting strategic. They want to get away with something. So I feel like this dishonest person is in the way of you having your firm foundation them being deceptive or dishonest is stopping this firm foundation from happening. So partnerships and alliances with the three of wands in reverse. This is, it's easier to stay in your comfort zone. You, you have lack of foresight. You can't see where to go from here. 
um, and also I feel like there's frustration, there's obstacles, um, you've got some sort of choice to make and you're probably weighing up your options. Um, as I said, there's two choices. Maybe it's do you want to go on, do you want to leave? But you've got the five of pentacles as well. So, you know, you're feeling like you're a bit of a victim. You're feeling like you are rejected. You're feeling like you're lonely. You're feeling like you've had some sort of loss. But you need to look at things in a new perspective. You've probably had some overactive mind, fear, depression, anxiety, all that sort of stuff. This has definitely affected your heart chakra. Uh, trust your intuition, though, because somebody can be putting on an illusion as to who they are. They're wearing masks, see past, pay attention to the red flags. Probably pretend to be one type of person, but they're somebody completely different. Let's clarify, shall we? Tell me about mental conflict. You need to spend some time alone. Maybe have some soul, do some soul searching, get some introspection about the situation. And the Four of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like, you know, if someone's being controlled, um, there's definitely some um, obstacles in the situation. Five of Wands, you're kind of keeping everything inside. This person could be giving to other people. And I feel like you're trying to avoid. You, you might have some inner conflict, but I feel like you're trying to avoid causing a, you know, an argument. And I feel like you're doubting your intuition about this person. Tell me more about this mental conflict. So four of swords in reverse. I mean, you're feeling exhausted. This is just making you burnt out. You're feeling exhausted. You're feeling like you're stuck, contemplating all the time about what to do. You need to take action and, and you've got choices. Be determined to make a change because once you do then you'll have this blossoming new relationship or um, focus on your finances your career something like that but I feel like you're in definitely mental conflict and it's making you exhausted you're just unsure what you want to do why do you feel like you need closure you're crying over spilled milk this is you dwelling on the negative. You probably had some sort of emotional loss. But you are moving on. You're going to leave the past behind. So you thought there was going to be victory and success. So tell me, why is the victory and success card here? Yeah, you thought there was going to be, but this was a very hostile situation, which is probably why it said there was no victory and success. You feel like you need closure because you feel like you can't let it go because you thought it would be have victor victory and success, but it, it, it won't. It won't. Like this is someone who plays mind games. It could be violent. They could be cheating. Um, they could they could be abusive. Any of that kind of hostile situation. As I said, they left you out in the cold. You need to just focus on you becoming financially independent, caring about yourself. This person might have promised you all the you know wishes coming true, but they probably meant none of it. Okay, so tell me about this row here. Tell me about patience and planning in reverse. The 
Empress. You're making slow progress and it's you probably are codependent or you're dependent on this person for some reason. I feel like you're waiting for your ships to come in. You want your you wanted this to work. You wanted this to be your your situation. You wanted this to be like you were hoping to reap rewards of your efforts and this kind of be it. Tell me about the dishonesty part. This person was probably, um, with the Emperor in reverse, this person was probably very controlling. Um, but maybe you also let like your, I don't want to say let this happen. They didn't take accountability for their actions, but you need to be a leader in your own life so that you move on past this. Yeah. So tell me about the firm foundation, Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you're stuck, you're bored. You feel like that. You really hope this person was going to give you a firm foundation, but they weren't. Seven of Cups, I feel like they had commitment issues or there was a lot of wishful thinking this person would be a certain type of person or they hoped that they might be better, but they were never going to be better. They never, yeah. Tell me about why the partnership three of wands, why is that in reverse, why is that here? So this is about you staying in your comfort zone and there being frustration and obstacles. <coughs> you got the seven of wands and, <coughs> and the eight of pentacles. <coughs> I feel like I mean the seven of wands is about you standing your ground you know you may be in competition with other people you need to protect your heart protect you also you got the eight of Pentacles so you're widening your knowledge about this person and also feel like you're focusing on your employment focusing on your craft focusing on whatever this is I think it comes back to your self-worth. This person was giving to other people. You may find out something about that as well. This may come out. Okay, so movement choices and decisions. Tell me more about that for Scorpio. Yeah, you... You're tossing up, do I want to walk away in this situation? But if you don't, the universe will. As I said, I feel like you're going to get some information. You're going to find out something that maybe you didn't know before. Mental clarity, the truth. And I also feel like you're going to maybe either then have a fresh start, some sudden opportunity may come in, but I feel like you're going to get some clarity about a situation that you, maybe you didn't have a clarity before. I want to get an outcome card. I'm just going to turn the light on. It's getting a little bit dark. Okay, I want an outcome for Scorpio, please. What's going to happen with Scorpio? Tell me about Scorpio, please. And one more card. Okay, you've got a couple. So you have everything inside you to get through this situation. That's the first card. You need to work on you, your self-love, your self-worth, all that situation. And you're going to have some sort of celebration. And I feel like you, you either possibly are going to meet someone at some sort of celebration. Someone new. Um, this card here can also be um, you turning to your circle of support. 
you might meet someone through that maybe is a friend or through a friend um something like that but some new relationship somebody that may you may have already known from a past life or from um like you bit of you're doing a bit of nostalgia probably and i feel like then the obstacles and challenges are going to be over yeah and you are letting go and having a new perspective you realize that you deserve better than this situation okay so tell me more about this outcome for scorpio please tell me more about outcome for scorpio please So work on yourself, your self-care, focus on becoming more financially independent. So you may even meet someone through work for some of you or um, you're just caring for you and then you, you've got the two of cups, a new romantic love coming. The fact that you've got the lovers and the two of cups, you've definitely got someone new coming. So the situation was definitely that you're in or that you are in is definitely just look at this like it's a lost opportunity. There could also be lack of planning. Maybe someone didn't ever make a plan with you, but yeah, I feel like it's a lost opportunity. You didn't want to have this kind of absolution or make a final decision, but you knew you needed to because somebody probably, you know, there were three people third party um, it can also be about somebody being obsessed with details he did this she did this um, but yeah this person broke your heart with the three of three of swords so they probably there was a third party they probably cheated or there was a third party involved somebody in their ear telling them they needed to end it Probably you had some opposition. Be somebody like the Queen of Swords, somebody who's very self-sufficient, they're independent, they have clear boundaries, um, very direct with their communication. Don't let anyone cross those boundaries next time. But yeah, it's probably due to your lack of confidence that you stayed there. But you're definitely weighing up your options. Same card. And here you are showing up in your own reading. King of Cups. This is you, Scorpio. Confirmation that. Yeah. And here you are. Letting go. Having a new perspective. Anyway, that is what I have. I feel like deal with this crap. You've got new love coming. At the moment, I feel like you are possibly ignoring the flags that you're seeing. I feel like you know that there's more going on than meets the eye, more than you know, but I feel like it's not... You're not doing anything to change or end the situation. Anyway, that is what I have for you. Um, there's a situation you obviously need to learn from the situation. So learn, pay attention to the red flags, learn and move on so you can meet someone great. That's what I have. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next reading. Okay, bye.